Welcome. You're listening to the Nicknames podcast, proudly brought to you by nicknames.com. I'm Andriy Kvetkevich, and today we're diving into one of the hottest topics for website owners, SSL certificates. The topic of today's episode, free versus paid SSL certificates, what's the difference and which one should you choose? Joining me today is Jexy, an expert in domains, trademarks, and digital assets. Hi, Jexy. Great to have you here. Hi, Andre. Thanks for having me. This is such a relevant topic. Pretty much every client faces this question when launching a website. And often, they go for the free option, without always understanding why paid certificates even exist. Exactly. Let's start with the basics. What is SSL? And why do we even need it? SSL is a security protocol that encrypts the data exchanged between a user's browser and the website server. For example, if you enter a password or a credit card number on a site, SSL makes sure that information is transmitted in an encrypted form. And it's not just for online stores. Even blogs collecting email addresses should use SSL. Plus, search engines like Google prioritize sites that have HTTPS connections. Just to clarify, SSL enables HTTPS. When you see HTTPS in your browser's address bar without any errors, that means SSL is working properly. Got it. Now the big question, free or paid SSL certificate? What's the difference? Well, free certificates like Let's Encrypt offer basic encryption, but it's important to understand, Let's Encrypt does not verify who owns the domain or website. It simply secures the connection between the visitor and the server. A free certificate can be issued automatically by your hosting provider, your developer, or sometimes even by the server itself. It only checks the technical availability, meaning whether the server or IP address matches the request. There's no legal or organizational verification involved at all. Ah, so it doesn't verify the actual person or company behind the website? Exactly. Now paid SSL certificates can include domain validation or DV, where ownership of the domain is verified. Organization validation, or OV, where the legal entity's details are checked. And extended validation, or EV, the highest level of verification, where the company's name may even show in the browser, often with a green lock icon. Another thing, the certificate lifespan. Free certificates are typically issued for just 90 days and require frequent renewal. Paid SSLs, on the other hand, can last one or two years, making them much more convenient. That's right. Also, some international payment providers won't accept websites that don't have an organization validation or extended validation SSL. So in some cases, it's not even about choice. It's a technical requirement. By the way, at nicknames.com, you can find different types of SSL certificates and we're always happy to help you choose the best one for your project. Right. Securing your website isn't optional if you take your business seriously. Just like you invest in design, marketing, and content, you should invest in security too. Wise words, Jexy. Thank you for joining me today. And a quick reminder to our listeners. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us through the nicknames.com website or on social media. And speaking of SSL certificates, at nicknames.com, you can get a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for your domain. And if you need a commercial SSL with validation, we offer some of the lowest prices in the world, so you don't have to overpay for security. Protect your site easily and affordably with nicknames.com. Thanks, everyone. See you in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends, and subscribe to the Nicknames podcast. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and other platforms. And if you're looking for a reliable domain name or affordable SSL certificates, head over to nicknames.com. See you in the next episode. <laughs>